I'm not sure how you guys will feel about this story because we got some bad news about GTA 6. But some of you will be like, Skizzle, when are we not having bad news about GTA 6? Is the trailer coming? Is the GTA 6 gameplay coming? We're gonna be talking about all of that. Let's go for two likes on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Because just the other day, Game Ranks also covered this GTA 6 new rumor. Everybody's covering it. It started trending on Twitter, but when doesn't GTA 6 trends on Twitter? But everybody started talking about it so much so that we got this 20 pounds of article and surely I have covered this. But just to give you that gist, right? Just a little bit of the spice apparently we're in that the story is about two siblings who find themselves on the opposite side of the law some of you started believing some of you were like nah man skizzle like, there's no way we're gonna get that so some people are not believing which is perfectly fine the prologue could be set in brazil previously we heard that it's gonna be set in uh, america miami new york city this and that and now we're hearing that it's gonna be set in brazil i'm like okay next time they will say that it's gonna be set in your mom's house <laughs> You, you never know right but apparently the entire game will be set in colombia miami and stuff like that but only the prologue is going to be set in brazil if this leak is to be believed the military and the cartel will have modern day weaponry never before seen in a gk game some of the info from the Project America leak is true, but much of it is fake, and Rockstar is planning to release GTA 6 in 2024. So when we heard that, people went crazy. People went bozo. And you know what? It started trending on Twitter so much so that we even have day 145 of waiting for GTA 6. Leak picture of GTA 6. GTA 6 is rumored to take place in Miami, Colombia, and Cuba. And it's said me once again checking to see why GTA 6 is trending knowing there is no announcement. GTA 6 is going to take place on planet Earth confirmed. Society when GTA 6 finally drops. So you can see that the expectations are kind of high for this game. Oh my God. And now we have the homie Tom Henderson. I mean, damn, bro. And before before I get into that, for context, Watcher Guru came out and they said that GTA 6 leak suggests that the story will take place in Colombia. Bad news coming in, bad news coming in. Colombia and Miami and will include in-game cryptocurrency rewards for players to earn trade. And this is not that bad news. Bad, bad news coming in a second. But I mean, damn, bro. Like, can a brother perhaps not get like NFTs? Because I'm seeing that dark future. Knowing GTA 5 all like, my guy, we're going to be getting 20 megatons of microtransactions. We're going to be getting crazy amount of NFTs out there. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get GTA 6 online one month early compared to the campaign. No, God, please. Like, I wouldn't be shocked whatsoever. But to that, the homie Tom Henderson came out. He says that I'm assuming this dates back to my original report over a year ago. I have not had any updates on such features since, and I would definitely treat this with a grain of salt. It's just a rumor from a game in very turbulent development. My guy, our young generation is completely lost, y'all. We, we need GTA 6 fast, okay? I, I know there's no correlation between that, but seriously, our young generation completely lost y'all i still believe the game is releasing in 2024 2025 i'm referring to turbulent because it hasn't been plain sailing just like with every game in development during the roni situation make sure you guys are washing your hands before smashing the like button i do not want anyone to catch the roni right now nobody's afraid of so duh. people leaving and whatnot so he's referring to the fact that some of the devs are actually leaving the employees are leaving and that's kind of true right even leslie benz is kind of peaced out and he's not working on his every game and i'm sitting here i'm scratching my head some of you might be scratching your ball sack as well hey yo what the f because listen this game cannot fail y'all if this game is bad gaming just i don't know man gaming dunzo dude i know there are a million different games out there but boys like i i've been holding hope for this game for a while now ben says that turbulent as in rough i don't think take two can afford for them to screw up and they surely cannot afford to screw this up but i remain confident they delivered big time with red dead redemption 2 and they have the technology and tools to make a perfect game my god not only that we would have to wait till we're 80 years old and if if this game is bad bro that's it i think it comes down to expectations of the title they simply cannot screw up maybe that's caused some internal pressure somewhere but i'm mainly referring to standard development during what everyone has gone through these last two years i mean he does have a point but at the end of the day bro like this game cannot afford if this game is bad y'all i think it's time to get this haircut but we also ended up getting our first look at the everywhere game that's gta competitor so click on this video on the screen or if you want to see karen's trying to arrest a cop click on this video and i will see you right there subscribe